In this video, I will show you how to request the acquisition of new hyperspectral remote sensing data in the Prisma data portal. First, open your preferred web browser and type https colon double backslash prisma.asi.it. The sign in page will open again, and with your user credentials, you can log in. In order to request the acquisition of new Prisma images, you have to select New Acquisition from the drop down list. After confirming by clicking Open, the order creation form will open. The same page provides you with an overview about your current orders and their statuses. For programming a new acquisition, just click on the New Order button on the top right of the page. First, you can select a valid time range for request. The Validity Time Range selection defines the time window in which the acquisition must be acquired. It is actually limited to a one day minimum and 29 days as a maximum. In this example, we define the time range from the 3rd to the 10th of July, 2021. Using the Area of Interest selection will allow the definition of the image size ranging from 30 by 30 kilometers up to 30 by 1800 kilometer long stripes. We will stay with the first option. You then have to select the longitude and latitude of the wanted acquisition center. I have prepared the coordinates of a city in southern Italy called Bari. The data entry fields are in sync with the map viewer. Once you have entered the coordinates, the extent of your area of interest will be displayed there. You could enter some free text describing the order that's going to be submitted in the description field. A quite important parameter to set is the cloud coverage in percentage. You have to decide the acceptable, for you, meaning maximum cloud coverage. My recommendation? Don't use too small a percentage, otherwise you significantly lower the chance to get the acquisition. As you certainly know, this is a typical phenomenon with all optical remote sensing systems. I usually select 80%. You have the possibility to select the look angles of the satellite field of view over the intended area of interest, as well as the sun zenith angles range. Here, we are fine with the default values. If you want to receive a certain processing level of the Prisma data product together with a successful acquisition, just select it from this drop down menu. L1 contains top of atmosphere radiance, L2B, bottom of atmosphere radiance, L2C, bottom of atmosphere reflectance, and finally L2D, bottom of atmosphere geocoded reflectance. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the button Review Order. This reminds you of the importance of cross-checking and carefully reviewing your entered parameters before submitting. Once your order is submitted, it can't be changed or cancelled. Just some words about the numbers on top of the window. They represent your acquisition quotas. Quota represents the number of square images having a size of 30 kilometers by 30 kilometers. Since this is the limit of your available orders, you must be careful when placing one. These fields are only shown, they cannot be modified. When you are satisfied, place the order. In the history window, the status of your order changes to submitted. Besides the provided order overview on the main page, in this same window, you will also find all changes of the status of your acquisition order. As for instance, accepted, feasible, scheduled, uplinked, executed. Hopefully the last status is completed, meaning your product was successfully acquired. If your status turns to failed, then your request has not been correctly executed on board. If the time window is still wide enough, the order is repeated automatically. This does not cost you any additional quota. Once your data product is ready for download, you will receive an email. Two further general recommendations I would like to outline here. First, it is a good idea to cross-check the coordinates provided in the email with the coordinates you have requested to detect inconsistencies in an early stage. And secondly, always keep detailed side notes about your order history. Unfortunately, once the selected time window for your order expires, the order overview disappears from the system. That could be unfavorable, especially when you are dealing with large data acquisition requests. This completes my demonstration on how to request the acquisition of new hyperspectral remote sensing data in the Prisma data portal.